Black holes are the remains of massive stars after they die. Not stars like our sun. Much, much bigger stars. At least three times the size. Stars are massive fusion reactors, powering themselves by turning hydrogen into helium. When all the hydrogen is gone, they convert helium into oxygen and carbon. And some super big stars turn these elements into even heavier elements. This can go on for billions of years, but sooner or later, they will run out of fuel. Eventually, their core turns to iron, and they can no longer burn. The star collapses in on itself from its own gravity, and the iron core heats up. The core becomes tighter and tighter, and the outer layers fall inwards, crushing itself more and more. The more it's crushed, the hotter it becomes until it explodes in a supernova releasing all of its energy and material into space. For stars which are over three times bigger than our sun, the remains of the core will form a black hole. And so begins the life of a black hole. But how does it end? Stephen Hawking has predicted how black holes may disappear by evaporation. The theory of the very small predicts that in empty space, particles can appear and disappear when you would expect there to be nothing around. These particles come into existence in pairs, exist for a moment, and then destroy each other. They are around for such a short time that they are not even considered to be part of reality. Physicists call them virtual particles. The pairs of particles are opposite to each other in every way. One is positive, one is negative. If these particles bump against the event horizon of a black hole, the positive particle would have enough energy to escape it but the negative particle would fall in. The negative particle would reduce the black hole's energy and mass. The positive particle would be seen as part of thermal radiation, Hawking radiation. Over the course of billions of years, trillions of these particles will be swallowed up by the black hole, making it smaller and smaller and hotter and hotter, until eventually it vanishes. But this is just a theory. We are trying to learn more about Hawking radiation by making many black holes at the Large Hadron Collider. But how exactly are we doing this?